Hey everybody, this is Amru Weeks. I am CJLO's hip hop director and I also host the limelight on CJLO, Saturday 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Hello, it's Allison, uh, program director here at CJLO. Hi everyone, Calvin here. I'm the head music director over at CJLO, also host of The Waiting Room every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Hi everyone, my name is Kelly. I'm the world music director at CJLO and these are my top picks of 2020. Now, I know like a lot of the staff members at CJLO, I find myself turning to music to kind of alleviate myself from all the crazy stuff that's going on around the world right now. And the record that I found myself listening to the most is Jessie Lanza's All The Time. She's from Hamilton, Ontario. I believe this is her third studio album. And yeah, um, I just really love the intricate beats on this thing. Um, I can't really think of an artist like Jessie Lanza who's really balancing that, um, that tightrope act between the worlds of top 40 um, pop music, but also uh, the more experimental sensibilities, um, which is really cool. She's really, um, that's one of the big selling points of the album. Um, the vocals are a little breathy and sort of airy, um, but honestly, that's a quality that I found myself endearing to almost immediately. Um, yeah, I can't, honestly, I can't really think of anyone who's producing stuff out there like Jesse Lanza. I know there's two weeks left in, uh, in December, but you never know what might happen. Um, but yeah, uh, Jesse Lanza all the time. Big contender for my favorite album of 2020. First and foremost, congratulations to Jele Tapa. Her debut album, Battle Can, won a Juno Award for World Music Album of the Year this year. Descendant of a long line of griot from Mali, Jele Tapa incorporates her strong heritage with blues and electro soul. Powered with her beautiful voice, Barokan is one of my top picks of the year. I would be remiss if I did not also congratulate producer Caleb from Afrotronics and co-producer Eli, who also had a baby this year. Congratulations, Eli. Also on my top picks is percussionist, vocalist, Biobox. She came out with her masterful EP Origami on October 30th with the Good People Records. This mini album unveils a musical universe of soft feeling and gentle words, all the while with a bold and groovy trip hop vibe with some prog, you're just gonna love it. I listen to a lot of rock, a lot of punk, a lot of alt, a lot of that stuff in order to escape. And one of the albums that are in my top five is Tough Ages, Which Way Am I? which I'm a huge fan of this band and their latest record is definitely their strongest. It has incredible drum work, incredible guitar work, introspective lyrics, so relatable, and they made some really interesting creative choices. And overall, it's just an incredible rock album. It's just so good to listen to in whatever mood I'm in. So yes, Tough Ages, Which Way Am I is definitely gonna be in my top five. Keeping true to Montreal's hip hop Latin scene, Sonido Pesao, aka Heavy Sounds on Pasa Music released their fantastic album called Todo Revuelto on August 14th, produced by the one and only Bugat. Another great Montreal producer, Poirier. He came out with his 11th album this year, Soft Power. It has been on our charts since its debut. It also hosts a slew of stellar international features, including Flavia Coelho, Flavia Nascimento, and Montreal's own Samito and Funk Lion. Guitarist Funk Lion's Cité d'Or Sessions is Afro-Psychedelic Greatness. Four track EP that'll take you to another world. It is a slow and soulful album, introspective album, and it holds the audience close. Definitely go check it out. So um, I'm gonna read briefly my list. It's a very short list of uh, songs and albums of 2020 that really stood out for me. So we have Common and Beautiful Revolution, The Foundation One Step, Giant Eat Thai Lotus and Offering, Blue and Exile Miles, Nora Tutain Grounding Place. Boy, don't you test my patience. 
Cause when you break my heart and steal my shine And the jewels, that was amazing RTJ4, Black Thought, Streams of Thought Volume 3, Cain and Abel Wally, Reppin' MTL from Nomadic Massive, Soap Opera And we also had singles from Montreal's Wayne Tennant and Seneca, Ain't No Sunshine And big thing this year, Miller Time uh, came out with some new singles and got signed with Herbnet And he has released um, Heaven Looks Like and Three Dimensions just past Friday, December 3rd And the lovely Malika Tirolier also came out with a single called Rise one of my top picks of the year is Rara Soleil's debut album, Mula. Composed, produced, and arranged by Maestro Ronald Nazaire, this album is a true testimony to the resilience of the human spirit and honors Haiti's voodoo heritage. Huge shout out to my girls Mapu Guiné, also representing on many music videos. Haitian folklore dance troupe right here in Montreal. Last but not least, Wally. He released his album Soap Opera this July. It has been on our charts ever since. Sung mostly in Haitian Creole, this album strongly represents Montreal's love affair for hip hop and world music. Wally has been keeping busy from playing on rooftops to making Ça va bien aller soap. Be sure to check out his beautiful music videos to accompany his album. I have to say thank you to Romero Beiru and Ngon Ndong for their participation in One World this year. They performed live performances for us and uh, they're going to be coming out with some fantastic new music 2021, so be sure to check them out. Also want to say thank you to everyone who has been listening and participating and sharing with CJLO. It has been a uh, really difficult but beautiful year. It really showed us who we were and who we continue to strive to be. Continue to listen to CJLO, more fantastic world music artists by Montreal artists for you on CJLO. See you in the new year.